Hello everybody, Amanda Davis here and I'm here to make a difference by teaching you what I know and sharing with you what I know and I'm going to share with you really quick three of my pet peeves and so the first pet peeve is traffic. Traffic can definitely be super irritating when you're trying to get somewhere <laughs> and you have somebody driving slow in front of you or there's an accident or whatever happens and it takes an extra long time for you to get wherever it is that you're trying to get. And not even like trying to speed, just going the speed limit. It's important to be able to get to where you want to get. And so it's very frustrating when that's an issue. <laughs> um, so that's one pet peeve, traffic. And then one of my pet peeves is going to be um, when... I'm expecting a TV show to come on and something preempts it, um, whether that be a breaking news story or um, when the different um, like sports preempt something because maybe they run longer than they were supposed to or um, when it's normally scheduled and then... Um, like I know the CW used to always have the shows that were scheduled for say Tuesday night and then they decided to air local basketball on Tuesday night and it's like if it was scheduled to air don't preempt it with a sports show it's different when they warn you ahead of time like with the Olympics we knew that any daytime TV was going to be preempted during the time of the Olympics on NBC fine because we knew that it was going to be preempted but anytime that something that I'm expecting to watch and it unexpectedly gets preempted that's a pet peeve although I don't watch as much TV as I used to but it's still a pet peeve <laughs> um, so traffic when something's preempted on TV when I'm not expecting it to be preempted and then um, my third pet peeve is going to be um, uh, I lost my train of thought, when technology does not work the way that you want it to. <laughs> like just now, I had Facebook open on my computer and I was trying to click on a message to be able to open it and do Messenger on the computer and for some odd reason, it kept downloading the conversation and I was like, I don't want to download the conversation. I just want to open it up and be able to talk to somebody on the conversation. So, um, yeah, when technology doesn't work the way that it wants to or it's supposed to. So the three pet peeves to wrap up are when technology don't work, doesn't work the way that it's supposed to, traffic, because everybody, we just want to get where we want to get, and the traffic can be irritating, especially when it's a bright, sunny day and there's no reason for traffic. <laughs> um, and then when something that I want to watch on TV is unexpectedly preempted. Um, although I do understand there are certain instances where it's appropriate, but it can still be frustrating when you're expecting to watch something and the one time that you actually decide to watch TV and then for whatever reason it's canceled with something else. And that is frustrating when it's scheduled. I'm talking about when it's scheduled, it's on the TV guide, it's even on your guide on your TV and you go to watch it and it's something else for whatever reason because that's frustrating. Anything that frustrates me like that, that's a pet peeve. <laughs> and then Perry Newbies is a support group for Periscopers. You can join us at perrynewbies.com. And then the 100 Scope Challenge is just something that we're doing as a group to get people scoping. And it's exciting because this time we do, we have had some new participants. So that is exciting. Um, and people that are newer to scope too, which is kind of the reason that it was it invented it wasn't invented for people that were experienced scopers and it was experienced scopers doing it so to actually have new scopers this time it's awesome and i'm excited about that and i hope that the challenge has really helped these new scopers and um when you guys catch these replays of mine that it watching this that yours that it has i hope the challenge has helped you and given us to give you hearts and stuff like that i hope that all of that has helped you um because that was why the 100 scope challenge was invented all right, thank you for watching, and I will see everybody in a minute because I'm going to do today's scope. This was actually for yesterday's topic. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night or day whenever you're watching this, and thank you again for watching the replay or if you're watching on YouTube because I am uploading these to my YouTube. I do appreciate it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.